Hey Cheeky Chefs, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you are all doing well. Today we will be making this delicious mushroom and cheese toasty. And you can have this any time of the day. You can have it for breakfast, you can have it as a snack. And it's really easy and healthy and, and it's tasty. So let's begin. Here is what you will need to make this cheese and mushroom toasty. Cheese, any cheese which is sliced up or grated. I'm using cheddar cheese. And any bread, I'm using seeded bread and two pieces of it. Any mushrooms, I'm using two mushrooms and I've just chopped them up and some oil. So let's begin. So we've, we're at our pan right now and what we're going to do is we're going to add in around about a tablespoon of oil. And I'm going to add our mushrooms to this. And our pan has just been preheating for a little while. I'm just going to make sure the oil gets everywhere, like this, and I'm going to put in our mushrooms, and you need to be very gentle with mushrooms, as they can break easily, and our heat is on medium, and you can have it on medium to low, and what I'm doing is I'm just going to stir fry this for a few seconds. So I stir fried us for... 30 to 40 seconds and as you can see they changed colour and that's all you need to do and then we're going to turn the heat off now and you just want them to become golden brown as and you can see they shrank a lot and I added in extra oil as mushrooms take up oil and they're always thirsty so I'm going to put these back into our bowl now. It smells so good in here. So now what we're going to do is we've got our bread here and we're going to put butter, a spread, on the sides and then we're going to flip them over and we are not going to put anything on the sides with the butter on as we this will give us a crispy taste, make our bread crispy. And I'm going to do this to both of our breads and you guys, you won't believe how tasty this is. This is really, really tasty. And it's healthy as well. I'm just putting spread all over my bread. And I'll see you guys once I finish doing it. So I put butter on these sides. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip them over. Very gently so the butter doesn't get onto our plate. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put down some cheese. And I'm going to do this on both of our sides. And I'm using cheddar cheese, but you can use any cheese you like. It can be mozzarella, it can be pepper jack, it can be anything. And I'm just going to put all of this cheese down on here, on both of the sides. So this will give it become very cheesy and very tasty. I'm going to put in quite a lot of cheese. Uh, about that much. When, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on some mushrooms on top. I'm just adding a little bit more. And now I'm going to add in our mushrooms on top, which are looking really good. And I'm just going to grab a few and put them down. I'm going to put it on this side. And I'm going to put it down some on this side and some on the other side. So we get equal amount of mushrooms. Like this, I'm going to put some down. I'm going to go on to our second side and put some down, like this. I'm just going to put that on this side here. And I used two mushrooms, I just washed them and cut them up, like this. And now this side I added less cheese on because I'm going to put cheese on top of it. So I'm going to grab some cheese and I'm going to put some cheese on top. And this will become extra cheesy. I'm just putting on some cheese on top so the mushrooms can get hidden and it will become extra cheesy. I'm just going to put on one more slice on over here because I see some bread here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our pieces of bread together. So I'm going to just go like this 
and close it like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go head over to our grill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this onto our grill like this and our grill is on and we've preheated it for a little while and we're going to close it up and I'll see you guys once it's cooked. So I have taken out our toasty and it only spent five minutes in there. I'm going to cut it open and let's see what it looks like. I have cut ours open and look how good this looks. This is so good. It looks so good and it smells really good. Now you don't need to now you don't need to buy it from the shops anymore. It looks really good. It's so cheesy as well. It is really good. Now I've taught you guys how to make it. You guys can make it at home anytime you like. And don't forget to like and subscribe and smash that notification bell button. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and leave a like. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.